Tonight in Beaver County, a prayer to end gun violence. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Erica Stanish. Local organizations brought the community together for a vigil and memorial to bring awareness to what's become an epidemic in our country. KDK's Lauren Linder was there and has the story. Each one of these t-shirts represents a life lost to gun violence. There are nearly 60 of them, accounting for all those killed in western Pennsylvania from January through June. The memorial sits along Route 65 here in Baden, where folks gathered for a vigil. Why does this happen? Why do we allow this to continue to happen? Those questions run through Paul Leone's mind as he and his wife Terry walk by a sea of colored t-shirts across from the Sisters of St. Joseph Mother House. Just the variety of ages from somebody 60 years old to, to children, seven and teenagers. On each shirt, you can find the name, age and date that person died by bullets in western Pennsylvania. An organization called Heeding God's Call to End Gun Violence created the memorial. Marilyn Mulvihill, who represents the group in the region, says it illustrates the reality of the problem. Too often when you hear of a, a shooting, when you hear of someone being killed by a gun, it's somebody else. It's somewhere out there. It's not real to you. They set it up in conjunction with a vigil on the sisters campus in Baden, where about 50 people joined in song. We shall live in peace. Prayer. So we cry out for peace and nonviolence. And spoken word. As we honor the memories of the fallen, let us remember that their lives were not lost in vain. These days, it's hard to not feel the impact. I think we're always aware of the potential for danger, yeah. whereas before, we just never really thought about it. They hope by speaking out, it can bring attention to those up top who can make change. Especially in crowds, public places, it's, it's always in the back of my mind. Will the government and Congress finally act to help bring this terrible plague to an end? This all comes just two weeks after two teens were shot and killed in Aliquippa and Ambridge here in Beaver County. Their names are not up here yet, but they will be added with this memorial being here in Baden until August 10th. It will then move to Chippewa and then New Brighton. For now, reporting in Baden, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.